Sharifi. This is Concho Valley This Morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Contra Valley this morning. Our temperatures to start off the morning are in the 70s across the board. We're at 75 here in San Angelo, 74 in El Dorado, 73 degrees if you're waking up in Eden. Here's a look at your satellite and radar, mostly dry across the region, but we are looking at some rain off to our south, some thunderstorms, in fact, seeing a few bolts of lightning with this here. So we could see some pockets of heavy rainfall throughout the early morning hours till about 7.30 as you're waking up. This is going to continue to move off towards the northeast. So some brief heavy showers with this, but of course we're not looking at widespread coverage. But we are looking at potential widespread coverage as we head overnight tonight. So here's a look into your future cast. We're seeing partly cloudy skies going into the afternoon, and as we head into the early evening, this is around seven o'clock, starting to see a few showers and thunderstorms off to our eastern counties, and then continuing to bring that into the northern portion of our counties overnight around 3:30 in the morning. So expecting that to be around Sterling City, Robert Lee, and then we'll continue to. See that branch out around six o'clock. So if you're an early riser, expecting a little bit more of a messy commute, even as we head into about 9:30. Though the good news is we're not seeing a lot of that heavy rainfall as we head into the morning hours, as most of the folks are heading out the door. But we are still watching potential for isolated storm development as we head towards the afternoon. So around four o'clock, still patches of heavy rainfall going to be possible. As far as potential severe weather, under a marginal risk for a lot of us today. But as we head into tomorrow, we're increasing that to a slight risk, including Tom Green County up through Coleman, all the way down through McCullough County, off towards our south, looking at a marginal risk. So we're seeing wind gusts to 70 miles per hour, large hail being possible, localized flooding, especially with all that already saturated soil out there. We've seen over five inches of rainfall this month, and we're seeing frequent lightning and Tornado potential. It's low, but we are still going to watch it very, very closely. As far as your temperatures as we head into today, about four o'clock, looking at the 90s, breezy winds, gusts to 25 miles per hour, decreasing cloud cover into the afternoon. But again, we are seeing that isolated chance to see a few storms out there during the morning hours. But heading into the afternoon, upper 80s, lower 90s with clearing skies. And we'll keep those rain chances there really all the way throughout the weekend and into next week. Here's your seven day forecast a cold front moving in tomorrow, keeping those rain chances in place, and then we'll see the upper 80s remain with the lower 90s heading into the end of your weekend.